Hey guys, welcome to my video on Bharat and Germany. My name is Bharat. And my name is Selina. I'm Bharat's wife. Yes, and in this video we want to talk about the struggles that many immigrants face when they're trying to get married in Germany because again, it is not an easy process at all or in India or in many other EU countries and what can you do to actually make it a bit easier? Yes, um, many times if two like immigrants live either in the same country like for example Germany or like one is living in Germany one is living in Poland it is a little bit difficult to get married in Germany in general the process is uh, like very lengthy and also there are many documents required and especially when one is living in Germany one is living in Poland for example it's even more complicated so um, there's a simple solution to all of this is to get married in Denmark. There are only three documents um, required and one of them is not even like 100% required, which is just passport and your visa. And then uh, additional document, which I always like to file with, is a single status certificate, which is also always very easily available. Um, many people hear the single status certificate and they are so worried, but um, trust me, there are so, so many easy ways to get it. For example, when you um, get married in Germany, there's this huge list and one of the documents which is required is a birth certificate. For many people who come from a country, for example, like India, it's a problem. Because back then, in the day when they were born, the, there was no proper system for the, um, for the birth certificates. Either Many it's times you see, yeah, handwritten or... In my birth certificate, it's the same. There was like some kind of like also cuts and like, you know, just yeah. different names written and so on. It's and for it to get recognized is like very difficult. There will be many steps until you can actually apply with this certificate. So I would definitely not recommend getting married in Germany because even for Germans or like interracial couples, it's very complicated to get married. Mm. And like I said, a lengthy process. Yeah, like Germans like who even naturalized. So I used to have these colleagues in the previous company where I was working in, in Germany and they were from Russia and they naturalized as Germans in Germany. And for them, when they were trying to get married, they had to show all of the previous documents, like, you know, what kind of um, status they had previously, their citizenship certificates, all sorts of like stuff, which took them a time of around like five to six months just to get the appointment first and then afterwards another three to four months for everything to like actually go through yeah like i was saying um there are very less documents required in denmark the only thing we basically have to do is to prove that you are in a real relationship that it's not some fake marriage for a visa so um we have to provide pictures and proof of a relationship but other than that it's a uh, like the most simple process you can think about and it also doesn't take much time i was able to organize uh, from the application to the actual marriage like in 10 days and sometimes even less yeah so um yes i would definitely recommend if you want to get married in the eu then um do it in denmark so a very simple process in denmark easy and fast I have a website called maryindenmark.com. You can check it out, see how the process works more. And then also, if you want, you can book a free appointment with me. I can consult you on the procedure and if it's the right choice for you. Many people are also worried about um, whether the marriage is legal, whether it will be recognized easily and they are in the country of their residence, like Germany or any other country. And the answer is yes, it's 100% legal, especially in EU. It's like the most simple thing. It's a EU certificate. It's in five languages, German, English, Danish, um, French and Spanish. So um, you can go with this document and you don't even have to do a registration. You just have to basically inform them about your marriage and then they will change your status in the system. It's super easy. And if you, if one partner, for example, is living abroad, like I have somebody right now from US and one partner is living in EU, then um, with the apostilled version, they can get their marriage recognized very easily. And this apostille, I will apply for you and it will come like in, a, in one or two weeks to your house. And then, yeah, you can do the family reunion visa with that or um, 
or just register it with the authorities. Mm -hmm. And the best thing is because Alina has been doing this for so long, she's also in close touch with the um, agency which are handling all of these paperwork in the back end, the Danish government authorities, so she can also like, you know, take over all of that communication on your behalf. Yeah, and then many people also think, okay, I will get married in Denmark, but why should I go with a wedding agency? And the simple reason is that everybody knows dealing with government authorities can be very stressful. And on top of that, if you do the application for the first time, you can do so many mistakes. And the moment you do some mistakes, your process will get delayed two to three months. This is a normal time because your case will not be opened for this time period. Um, just because they have so many applications and I think they say that okay if you cannot get the documents right then we can only open it when the time allows it for us so that's why it is better to go with an agency like mine and um, let me take all the stress and apply for you and so you can have an easy and smooth process for um, more information and for um, seeing the process and the prices of my packages, you can visit my website maryindenmark.com. You can book a free consultation with me. We can talk about whether it's the right choice for you or not. Or you can write me email directly at erodiaries at gmail.com. That's it from our side, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you know somebody who wants to get married in Denmark or in Germany and they're having problems, just let them contact us and they will definitely owe you one. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.